Symplectic geometry is a branch of differential geometry and differential topology that studies symplectic manifolds, that is, differentiable manifolds equipped with a closed, non-degenerate two-form. Symplectic geometry has its origins in the Hamiltonian formulation of classical mechanics where the phase space of certain classical systems takes on the structure of a symplectic manifold. Introduction A symplectic geometry is defined on a smooth even dimensional space that is a differentiable manifold. On this space is defined a geometric object, the symplectic form, that allows for the measurement of sizes of two-dimensional objects in the space. The symplectic form in symplectic geometry plays a role analogous to that of the metric tensor in Riemannian geometry, where the metric tensor measures lengths and angles, the symplectic form measures areas. To specify the trajectory of the object, one requires both the position Q and the momentum P, which form a point in the Euclidean plane 2. In this case, the symplectic form is an is an area form that measures the area A of a region S in the plane through integration. The area is important because as conservative dynamical systems evolve in time, this area is invariant. Higher dimensional symplectic geometries are defined analogously. A 2n-dimensional symplectic geometry is formed of pairs of directions in a 2n-dimensional manifold along with a symplectic form. This symplectic form yields the size of a 2n-dimensional region 5 in the space as the sum of the areas of the projections of E onto each of the planes formed by the pairs of directions comparison with Riemannian geometry. Symplectic geometry has a number of similarities with and differences from Riemannian geometry, which is the study of differentiable manifolds equipped with non-degenerate, symmetric two-tenses. Unlike in the Riemannian case, symplectic manifolds have no local invariants such as curvature. This is a consequence of Darbo's theorem which states that a neighborhood of any point of a 2n-dimensional symplectic manifold is isomorphic to the standard symplectic structure on an open set of 2n. Another difference with Riemannian geometry is that not every differentiable manifold need admit a symplectic form. There are certain topological restrictions. For example, every symplectic manifold is even-dimensional and orientable. Additionally, if M is a closed symplectic manifold, then the second RHAM cohomology group H2 is non-trivial. This implies, for example, that the only n-sphere that admits a symplectic form is the two-sphere. Examples and structures Every Kala manifold is also a symplectic manifold. Well into the 1970s, symplectic experts were unsure whether any compact non kala symplectic manifolds existed. But since then, many examples have been constructed. In particular, Robert Gompf has shown that every finitely presented group occurs as the fundamental group of some symplectic form manifold, in marked contrast with the Kala case. Most symplectic manifolds, one can say, are not Kala, and so do not have an integrable complex structure compatible with the symplectic form. Mikhail Gromov, however, made the important observation that symplectic manifolds do admit an abundance of compatible almost complex structures, so that they satisfy all the axioms for a Kala manifold except the requirement that the transition maps be holomorphic. Gromov used the existence of almost complex structures on symplectic manifolds to develop a theory of pseudo-holomorphic curves, which has led to a number of advancements in symplectic topology, including a class of symplectic invariants now known as Gromov-Witten invariants. These invariants also play a key role in string theory. Name the name complex group, formerly advocated by me in allusion to line complexes, as these are defined by the vanishing of antisymmetric bilinear forms, has become more and more embarrassing through collision with the word complex in the connotation of complex number. I therefore propose to replace it by the corresponding Greek adjective symplectic. Dixon calls the group the abelian linear group in homage to Abel who first studied it. 
WEYL symplectic geometry is also called symplectic topology although the latter is really a subfield concerned with important global questions in symplectic geometry. The term symplectic is a calc of complex introduced by WEYL. Previously, the symplectic group had been called the line complex group. Complex comes from the Latin complexus, meaning braided together, while symplectic comes from the corresponding Greek symplektikos. In both cases the suffix comes from the Indo-European root asterisk plek. This naming reflects the deep connections between complex and symplectic structures.